Well, hello everybody. Bart over here with Volare Sim. Today, quick video about an update to our avionics panel. We call this updated version, version 2, or V2, and we just start shipping it beginning of August. Now, if you're looking at it and you're thinking, well, what's so different about it? It looks exactly the same as the original panel. You are not mistaken. Uh, the overall dimensions are identical, but we have enlarged the center cutout to accommodate the honeycomb yoke. In fact, now we are able to accommodate four yokes uh, with the Volare Sim chassis and avionics panel. So, uh, of course, the Logitech or Cytec yoke, as everybody calls it, and that mounts with the screws uh, to the table, and then the panel comes uh, on top of it. Honeycomb yoke, which is uh, what we see here, and then a Yoko yoke, which is, you know, that next level up. And then finally, for the guys with uh, deep pockets, we have compatibility with Brunner yoke, which Brunner yoke, uh, for those that don't know, have the control loading or force feedback, as some people call it, and, uh, you know, that is the ultimate yoke. Uh, so four yokes, four popular yokes for aviation, for flight simulation. Um, and uh, otherwise, the panel still has the uh, that kind of a carbon fiber look padded glare shield, and it's stitched here uh, orange with orange uh, thread, hand stitched just so to match your Volare Sim chassis. It mounts to our Volare Sim avionics table with some screws uh, along the uh, the leading edge or that edge front edge of the of the table. And then uh, the honeycomb yoke mounts two ways. You can either use the micro suction cup that honeycomb uh, provides with the yoke, uh, and then they put the panel on top of it to kind of sandwich it down, or you can use uh, 3M dual sided tape. There are no holes drilled in the bottom of the honeycomb, so you either have to use the tape or the micro suction. The micro suction works very well. We have had it for several weeks attached to the table and it doesn't uh, you know unglue or un unsuction or anything like that um, because then the panel you know just kind of clamps it down from the top um, and then you can of course mount uh, the uh, Logitech uh, or um, um, you know instruments uh, by the way this is a piece of uh, uh, flight simulation uh, Museum piece because it's no longer made. This Cytec used to make it, and a lot of people ask us, "What is this thing?" This is called backlit instrument panel (BAP). And uh, when Logitech bought the Cytec business, they did not uh, restart that, and it's kind of a little bit of shame because it uh, it was a nice little uh, panel. It's, you know, it's an enunciator, um, which is useful for a lot of the airplanes. Everything else stays the same. Wanted to remind everybody that we do have adapter plates for. Two very popular GPSs, GNS 530 and GTN 750, both from Real Sim Gear. Um, so for those that don't know, you know GNS 530 is the most popular general aviation GPS. Tens of thousands of those GPSs are still installed and flying and being supported by Garmin. But of course, the replacement of for it is the GTN 750, which is a touch one. Uh, this takes two slots of the you know the two like rectangular slots. If you put that adapter plates, that's sold separately. It doesn't come with a cockpit. Um, so you can buy that separately. Um, if you mount a yoke that's smaller than this honeycomb, we do provide you the masking um, for the for the cutouts, so that you don't have a gap or anything like that. And of course, you can have uh, we have also give you covers for anything that you don't use. So like if you don't use the FIPs, like you see here, then you can cover them up and put like say two iPads. Uh, Simeonics, uh, as you know, makes a G1000 very affordable solution with two iPads. You can have a G1000 and then um, you know populate the rest of them with those. Uh, Logitech panels that are pretty affordable as well. Uh, and uh, I will also link uh, PDF instructions below this video so if you want to peruse that. Um, the panel uh, pricing is the same and it's, as I mentioned, shipping right now. Um, and then uh, we welcome your questions and comments. Best way to reach us is just email us at support at volairesim.com. Thank you very much for watching.